So for our example number 6, we will try to analyze a pin-connected tension member. So an ASTM A36 pin-connected tension member with the dimensions shown carries a dead load of 20 kN and a live load of 55 kN in tension. The diameter of the pin is 25 mm in a 1 mm oversized hole. Assume that the pin itself is adequate. Verify the member, member tensile strength. So for ASTM A36, we have the yield stress of 250 MPa and the tensile stress as 400 MPa. So our dead load is 20 kN and our live load is 55 kN. The width of the pin connection is 108 mm and the thickness is 16 mm. So we will determine or we will try to check whether the dimensional requirements are being satisfied. So here is the list of the dimensional requirements. So first, pin hole shall be located midway between the edges of the member in the direction normal to the applied force. So as we can see here, it is located midway between the edges. For the second condition, is the diameter or is the bolt diameter lesser than the diameter of the hole? The diameter of the hole is lesser than or equal to the diameter plus 1 millimeter. So substituting the values, we can see that it is being satisfied. So for condition C, So for condition C, is the width of the plate greater than or equal to twice the effective edge distance plus the diameter of the hole? So let's try to calculate the effective edge distance with this formula given and it can be found in our NSCP under section 510. So the effective edge distance is equal to twice the thickness plus 16 and our thickness is 16 so our effective edge distance now is equal to 48 millimeter. But NSCP 2010 states that, uh, that the effective edge distance must be lesser than or equal to the edge distance B. So Mas malaki yung effective edge distance natin. So, we will consider the edge distance. So, substituting the values, we will use the um, uh, edge distance, which is 40 millimeters. So, yan. It's okay. And then, for the next one, for the fourth requirement, that the shortest distance A must be greater than or equal to 1.33 of the effective edge distance. So, we'll try to substitute the effective uh, edge distance by using 40 millimeter. Sixty millimeter is greater than fifty-three point two. Yeah, na satisfy nyo yung given condition. And for the last one, forty-five degree cut at corners is permitted, provided that C is greater than or equal to the shortest distance from edge of pinhole. Yeah. So, na satisfy niya lahat. 
nung fa yung five dimensional requirements. So we can now proceed on the next step. So the next step is to determine the required tensile strength of the member. So parang the last example lang using the LR FD and the ASD we'll just try to substitute the formula with the given loads our dead load is 20 and our live load is 55 so our tensile strength on the LR FD is 112 kilonewtons And under ASD naman, so add lang natin yung dead load at live load. So it's equal to 75 kilonewton. So for pin connected tension member, uh, we will encounter four limit states. So, yung mga nauna kanina, um, dalawang limiting states lang yung nire-require. So, for pin connection, we will consider four. The first one is the available tensile rupture strength. The second one is the available shear rupture. And the third one is the available bearing strength and the last one is the available tensile yielding strength so given here are the uh, formulas for the four limiting state so for the first one the tensile rupture and the net effective area our nominal tensile strength is equal to twice the thickness multiplied by the effective edge distance multiplied by FU. <laughs> so our thickness is 16 millimeter, our effective edge distance is 40 millimeter, and FU is 400 megapascal. So substituting those values and multiply them, will be equal to 512 kilonewton. So under LRFD, we have PN multiplied by phi. So, same pa rin siya. Yung phi natin would be equal to 0.75 then multiplied natin siya sa nominal tensile strength na 512, so it would be equal to 384 kN. And it is greater than our PU, or greater than the required uh, tensile strength under LRFT, so okay siya. So for ASD, ganun din, the nominal uh, tensile strength divided by the safety factor, which is 2.0. It will now be equal to 256 kN. And compare natin siya sa PA. Uh, only 75 kN. So for the second one, uh, determine the shear rupture strength and the effective area. Where our nominal strength is equal to 0 0.6 multiplied by the tensile stress multiplied by the area of the or the shear area on the failure path and the area on the failure path ASF is equal to twice the thickness multiplied by the shortest distance A plus the pin diameter all over 2. So, yan. Nasa tulit na natin. So, our area 
or the shear area on the failure path or failure path is equal to 1320 millimeters. So our nominal tensile strength substituting those values will be now equal to 556.8 kilonewtons. So for LRFT, same then, our fee is 0 0.75. Would be equal to 417.6 kilonewton, and for the yeah, mas malaki siya sa PU natin na only 112 kilonewton, and then for the ASD, divide lang natin siya into 2.0. equal to 278.4 and mas malaki nga siya sa ating ASD a required tensile strength and 75 kilonewton so for the next one for the so for the available bearing strength our third limiting state R and R the nominal strength is equal to 1.8 the yield stress multiplied by the area or the projected bearing area and our projected bearing area is just the product of the thickness and the diameter of the uh, pin so multiplying it we have 400 square millimeter And substitute lang natin. And our yield stress is 250 megapascal. So the nominal strength is going to be equal to 180 kN. And then same process uh, using LRFT. We multiply it with phi, which is equal to 0 0.75. We have One hundred thirty-five kilo newton, and it is greater with our PU, which is only one hundred twelve kilo newton. And the next one is our ASD. Divide lang natin. And comparing it with our PA, it is greater. And for the last one, the available tensile yielding strength, where the nominal tensile strength is equal to the yield stress multiplied by the gross area and our gross area is just the product of the plate of the weed multiplied by the thickness the gross area is equal to 1728 square millimeter our yield stress is 250 megapascal so it is equal to 432 kilo newton. For LRF naman, change lang yung fee natin would now be equal to 0 0.9. So, parehas lang ng mga recent discussions natin. So, LRFT or the available tensile yielding strength under LRFD is 388.8 kilo newton and it is greater than our PU 200 uh, or sorry 112 kilonewton lang and for ESD you just need to divide the nominal tensile strength 
with 1.67 equal to 258.68 kilo newton and it is greater by pu which is or pa which is only 75 kilo newton After this, we can now, now conclude that the member or the section we have can, uh, will satisfy or can carry the given loads we have. So the section is adequate. And we can see that the bearing limit state governed since it has the least um, product or yung list na nakuha natin among the four.